Today we're going to create our own PICTA chart. First navigate to PICTAchart.com and log in with your credentials. I'm going to sign in with Facebook. You can create easily create your own personal free login. The first thing that you need to do is choose a free template to use. At the big top of the page there are lots of free templates. You can scroll down and if you want more pro themes then you can sign up to buy a pro theme. So I'm just going to go back up to the top of the page and pick a free theme to create. Okay, that brought my theme into the editing area. It's very easy. Just click on an area. I'm going to click on the words. You're given several choices to change things. Let's see. You can change the color of your words. You can delete things that you don't want. Or type a new word. You can even resize different areas of your infographic. On the side of the page you have a few choices such as shapes and line. You can easily drag over any shape that you want. You can resize it. You can delete it. If you double click inside of any box, you can change the words and add your own words. There are also general icons that you can add to your page. Some of these come with the uh, pro version. So I've just added a shape and I can once again resize or delete that shape. There are photos that you can add to your infographic. This one I'm going to reshape. And you could put it right inside of a shape that is already existing on the page. Everything pretty much uses editing tools that are pretty much the same as Word. So it's very user friendly. Down at the bottom, this one has a graph. I'm just going to delete the one that's there. And look at my tools on the right left hand side. I'm going to add a chart. I have lots of different choices for the charts. Let's see. A donut chart. Hierarchy icon matrix. I think I'm going to add a vertical bar chart and just insert the chart. So now this chart is very easy to move around, resize. So if you had your information you could put the information into your graphic. This would be very good if you've done some sort of survey and you want to show the results on an infographic. At the bottom it's also always a good idea if you've gotten things from the internet to cite your sources. And once again you could delete that information, type in, I'm just typing some 
nonsensical things, but you can delete your information and add what you need at the bottom. Once you are done, it automatically saves and updates it, which is very nice. So if you're interrupted, you can always go right back to that one. You can preview your infographic at this time. And you can share it via PictoCard, you can export it or share it on social media. So that is how you create your infographic.